Hey, hey! What's going on, my friends? My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode here of Minecraft Survival from Py- Uh... Welcome back to another episode of Micro Survival from Python's World. Welcome back, my friends. Thank you, as always, for all of your beautiful support throughout this series so far. I very much do appreciate it. Of course, if you do want to continue showing your support for the series, by far the easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like on the video. But I tell you what, guys, if you want to go one further with your support, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So then, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to finally begin our season four project here and i'm so excited my friends i know it's been a little bit since the last episode but believe me i have not been an idle pythonator oh no i have not you may notice there's a little bit of a trail of torches around the outskirts of this area and oh boy what a big area this is actually turning out to be of course it does encompass the two bridges that will eventually be made in terms of this area i would ideally like to begin by going ahead and landscaping it to the point where everything is on the same level so we bring the entire load of terrain within this area up to y112 which is what these torches are at but in today's episode ladies and gentlemen we're actually going to begin on our very first build within this area and i'm very very excited my friends i have toiled away the small hours trying to create a tower that i think would suit this area and to be honest there is only one type of material i think would work in a meadows biome and it's rather similar to real life in that i think it's just got to be stone my friends just pure basic stone so what i've tried to do via a camera account is i've tried to find where the rough center of this entire area is and i've marked it out with all of these torches here it's a three by three area here the build in question is actually nine by nine it's going to be a fairly big build and a fairly tall build it's going to be a freaking awesome one my friend something that i hope a lot of you guys are going to very much enjoy i actually really enjoyed coming up with it in a creative test one so guys Check this out. I've got myself a whole bunch of resources that I bought over from Flora Valley. I've got all of the various wares that we carried over in our endo chest as well. And to be honest, guys, I think we're just about ready to get this thing on the way. So I'll tell you what, let's start off by putting the frame down on the floor first. And then we can sort of talk you guys through it as we go along. Oh, and uh, yeah, slightly more basic thing we need to do today. We need to get more food. I'm on my last bit of chicken, huh? <laughs> oh, hello there, sirs. Hmm, I don't much like the fact that they're just stood there looking at me. Are you going to be my audience while I try to build my freaking tower here? Hmm, well, as long as you stay over there, I'm sure everything will be fine. Ah, oh, rats. Well, there's me thinking I was prepared. Uh, I'm really not. <laughs> We need more coal, ladies and gentlemen, because I want to smelt up these stone bricks so we can have ourselves a little bit of texture variation from the get-go in the form of cracked stone bricks. Ah, oh, snap. Well, I've rather buggered this up already, haven't I? All right, well, let's go find ourselves a nice basic cave. Maybe there's some coal somewhere. There will be... Oh, there isn't coal. Well, what a bunch of balls that is. Yeah, that's more like it. The more the better, Budskies. Yeah. I spy with my little eye something beginning with D. If you said anything other than deep slate... Ha! You were wrong. Ah, lovely, beautiful chicken. <laughs> Do you know what? Just to speed things up a little bit and so that I can actually smelt the various things I've got going on, uh, I'm going to give myself a couple stacks of coal here to fortune mine. I mean, it's not like we don't have a whole bunch of it here. <laughs> you know what? Another odd job we kind of need to do. We need to move this portal up to this new project area. Then I don't have to spend so much time running between places. You know what I'm saying? So check it out, ladies and gentlemen. I made a little bit of a coal tower, which I'm about to fortune mine. But since we're up here, which, by the way, this is the rough center that I sort of calculated. Uh, I thought I'd show you guys the entire extent of the area here. Look at all the little torches going all the way around the place, huh? Oh boy, 
This is a big old project area. There's a lot of stuff to be done here, my friends. Believe me. You know what I'm thinking right about now, ladies and gentlemen? Since this is going to be basically the centerpiece of this entire project area, I'm kind of feeling like it should be slightly elevated, right? And then all around the outside of the build is going to be slightly lower terrain at Y112, as I was mentioning before. But yeah, the centerpiece, I feel, should be elevated slightly just to make it a bit more prominent. So, yeah. How's about we go ahead and elevate this land up a bit, huh? There we are, mound complete. The remaining area is going down to Y112, which is down here. So we've got like a four block height elevation here, which I think is quite nice and very much easy to work with. So how's about we make a little bit of a start here. So as I was mentioning, we're going to be going ahead and introducing some texture variation in the form of cracked stone bricks, just to give this a little bit more character. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin by going eight blocks up. So this will be five, this would be six, uh, this will be seven, and I tell you what, let's go eight there as well. And then on top of this one, there's going to be a slab in the corner, because we're going to extend the tower on this side even more. All right, so we're going to go up nine blocks this time with some stairs on top. So let's go one, two, okay, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, eight, and nine. So coming up here, and then what we're going to do is put some steps rather like this. All right, and then at that point, we need to go nine further blocks up with a bunch more of these here bricks. So what, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And yep, Guys, we are very, very high up at the minute, but this isn't even scratching the surface in terms of how tall this is going to be. We're at Y143. Ha! <laughs> That's cute. We're going way higher than that. Ah, well now, I do not have access to bamboo over here. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to be eating a lot of food to regen here, aren't I? Gee whiz. All right, so that's one corner done. Let's get the other three done as well, and then we get a good idea as to how this is going to look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're starting to get somewhere with this. If we were to just get us... Oh, God, I almost fell all the way down there. <laughs> If we just get ourselves down to the bottom here, we can get kind of an idea as to the sort of scale we're going for. So, taking a look at it from slightly afar. Yeah, so we've got a combination of stone bricks and cracked stone bricks going on on the outskirts here. And then on the interior, or well, the inside bits here, we've got ourselves cobblestone and andesite. A pretty natural combination, I'm sure you guys would agree. But all we need to do now is fill in the walls and get the remaining height of this thing done. And then, yeah... I mean, to be honest, there's actually quite a lot more to be done here, but still, we're making progress. Ah, I've made a catastrophic mistake. Guys, in school, I legitimately came out with an A grade in maths, okay? I came out with an A grade in maths, and yet I make a fundamentally stupid error. I miscounted how big the build is. I thought it was 9 by 9. It's not. It's actually 11 by 11. Oh, no! <laughs> Why? Why am I so stupid? I gotta go back to school, dudes. I gotta go back to school. Oh, oh. I need to make this thing bigger. This ain't big enough. Oh. <laughs> Why? What is wrong with me? All right, so now that we've got this build at the correct size now, uh, yeah, we can get to work on getting the walls up and running. So, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to go and do. So we're starting off with some cobblestone and the side at the bottom here. We're going to have ourselves some upside-down stone brick stairs to sort of line the bottom of the window, or what will be the eventual window. And then what we're going to do is go eight blocks up with these here walls. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and then what we do is we place in some stairs once we've got all this up and running we can start adding in some stained glass and we're gonna have some nice little creeper shapes in the window because i mean you know i am a creeper at the end of the day <laughs> makes sense doesn't it so here we are two three four five six seven and eight okay and then we're doing the stairs 
upside down stair, a little bit of stair like that, and believe it or not, that's just about it. So let's go ahead and drop back down, get rid of this wall right here, and yeah, that is going to be the first of two windows that will span the height of this thing. And of course, let's not forget about the fact there needs to be, you know, an entrance into this place, so we've got ourselves a whopping great doorway and a slightly less big window. So yeah, this would be the sort of size of the normal windows, eight stone fence is high, and then we've got like a little two stone fence high uh, window here. Alrighty guys, and here comes the fun part. We are going to put a little bit of a creeper shape inside of the windows here. We've got white stained glass and clear glass panes here. We're going to put ourselves two layers of the white stained glass, and then we are going to begin on our little creeper shape. So here we are. We've got two bits of regular glass, then one here for the nose and then two bits on either side for the eyes, I guess. So, yeah, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, sort of get ourselves over here and then we'll fill this in. Okay. And what do you know? We've got a creeper shape in the window. We've got a creeper face. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, the tower of the Pythonators. Oh, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, man, I can't wait to have this thing done, man. Oh, yeah. It's starting to get there, isn't it? So I'll tell you what, since we've got creeper faces in the windows, how about we have a little bit of a creeper face featurette in the actual brickwork itself? Right, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I'll be honest, I'd be very surprised if I actually managed to get this first time. Uh, I believe what I need to do is go up like that. Okay... So up like that, and then we need to go ahead and add in some eyes, which I believe is going to be something like that. Okay, if I actually manage to do this first time, you guys have got to drop a like rating, okay? That's that's the deal, that's the deal. Did I do it? Yeah, I did! <laughs> there's the little eyeballs, and there's the mouth and the nose. Hey! Oh, your boy did it! His memory, apparently, might actually be better than his mathematics in today's episode so far. Good job, Python. Good job. I mean, at this point, I will literally claw onto anything in terms of an achievement, especially after that freaking numbers blunder. Oh, dear. What is wrong with me, eh? Oh, but! All right, well, uh, good job, Python. You failed your ninja freaking water placement there. Oh, goodness me. Uh, oh god, oh, god. <laughs> oh boy, uh, well, I should have gone to sleep a little bit earlier, huh? I really rather goof this up, didn't I? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, yep, yeah, okay, 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 it's gonna be like that, is it? Oh no, it was a spider first and now it's a zumble! Oh wait, no, oh, we did actually sleep it away, okay, good <laughs> Well, the good news is I didn't actually really have too much to my name, so I don't really feel like there's too much going on. Uh, as long as I have my shield back, I think we'll be fine. Well, would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? So many creeper faces. One there. There's one sort of there that you can half see, and there's one right there. I mean, honestly, there are so many creeper faces that I don't think anyone could possibly tell what race of mob this tower belongs to, right? Like, no one could possibly figure it out. So, this is what it's looking like so far. We've got ourselves sort of the bottom section done. We've got one more layer of windows to be done, just above where that sort of uh, stone brick rim is. And then it's all about having a nice, tall, pointed roof. Oh, yes! Guys, we're making some really, really good progress so far, and I'm very, very happy. So, yeah, the next layer of windows we're going to be doing sort of up there is actually going to be a bell tower, which is also going to double up as a little bit of a central utility area. And talking of utility, this entire build, I haven't even told you what it's even for. I mean, of course, it is meant to be the centerpiece of our area here, but, of course, we need to have at least some reason to visit this right? So what I was thinking is we make this into our brand new comment of the day storage area, okay? Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, the comment of the book day I have here is actually the very final one that I can put in the old Flora Valley comment of the day book storage area, okay? Did you ever think we would ever be able to fill that entire building up just full of books ever since the very first episode of 
of this entire series 219 episodes ago. Did you ever think, guys? Be honest. Did you ever think? So, yeah. Comment of the day, book storage area, central utility area. And then, if we manage to make ourselves like a little bit of a crypt going underground, I'm also thinking that is going to be the location of our new nether portal. So, yeah. Lots to be done, my friends. This central build is going to serve plenty of different utilities. All of which are very, very useful. So, for this top section here, the bell tower, we are going to have some slightly different measurements. We're going to go six blocks up at a little bit of an indent here, right? And then we will have ourselves some stairs rather like this, and then we'll go a further six blocks up. So one, two, three, four, five, and a six. And then eventually there is going to be a little bit of an upside down stair rim that sort of surrounds this entire place. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that for the remaining areas here, the remaining corners. Big ouchies. So this level that I'm now creating is going to be where the multi-utility room is going to be. And well, as you can see, holy mackerel, we can see a long way out in all directions. I mean, just look at it. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful landscape, isn't it? I mean, come on. 1.18 really did do a number on the terrain generation here. It really is quite marvelous nowadays, isn't it? Man, oh man, is there a lot of headroom in here. Look, I can actually jump around and not have my head hit a ceiling. <laughs> Ah, oh, feels good, my dudes. Feels good. So, where that uh, stone brick rim is up the top there, that is actually going to be the start of the roof. The very tall, pointed roof that we're about to start working on. So, I think what I need to do first, though, is I need to go ahead and, uh, I don't know, maybe clear up my inventory just a little wee bit. Maybe go to sleep, have a nice, well-deserved rest. Oh, goodness me. Go oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, this isn't very good, is it? Oh, boy. And now it's just started raining. Yeah, okay. Nice rainy night full of mobs and death. Uh-huh. Oh, well, that's just taking the biscuit, that is. Look, the Endermen have been taken apart my homemade mound. What a load of poo. You want to know how to make yourself a nice high pointed roof in any of your builds? Well, basically start off with the rule of twos. We're going to go ahead and go up two blocks just around the outside here, rather like so. And then what we're going to do once we've got this thing done is we'll start going up two blocks again, but just around sort of the middle. And then we'll continue to go up two blocks until we come to to the natural centers. And then what you do is you start going in with it, all right? So you come down here to the sort of lower end of it, and then you go two blocks up again, rather like this, you know? You go up in the corners here, you see what I mean? And then we've got a little bit of a center here. I'm actually gonna start going up three blocks at this point, just because, I don't know, why not? Give the build a little bit of extra height just at the top here. And then we'll go up three blocks right up at the top. And then what we'll do is, ah, uh, I didn't bring any fence up with me. Ah, oh, darn it. I was going to cap it off with a few cobblestone walls way up here. Oh, boy. <laughs> So what we just did there was basically the basis of this roof. Now what we're going to do is try our hand at smoothing it off just a little bit, right? We'll add ourselves in uh, some little stairs and slabs. We're going to just try to make the build look a little bit more, I don't know, curved? Finished? I don't know, man. We're just going to make it look good. So here we are back at the top. Let's go ahead and add in the very tippity tip top. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're now at one. Y 180. Wow. So we were at, I think, Y 116 way at the bottom of this tower. So that means that this entire build is, what, 64 blocks tall. Okay. Wow. Literally a full stack of blocks tall. <laughs> Man. That's crazy, though, isn't it? That actually is kind of crazy. This has got to be one of my tallest builds I've done, you know, period. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, my ninja water is getting so much better. All right. So, needless to say, we're not going to keep this ladder in here. This was just for the sake of, you know, being able to get up and down places easier. But uh, we will make ourselves a proper staircase in just a hot second here. But check it out, guys. We've actually got a little bit of space up here. We've got a little bit of a, a roof void going on. And I don't know about you, 
But I feel like there is some sort of utility to be had here. Maybe a little bit of a temporary storage room or something. But there we have it. A slightly more smoothed off ceiling in the attic space here. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, the thing is... I didn't really allow for this in my creative test build. This is actually something different I'm doing, so I'm not entirely sure how it is I'm going to be getting up here just yet. But I guess that's something we'll figure out in just a hot second. Oh, dude. So here we are. An exterior update. This is what it's looking like now. I tell you what. That is looking mighty fun, isn't it? All right, the basic staircase is done, and I purposely left a bit of a gap in the middle here because I'm going to make a little bit of a water drop. You know, very, very simple. We'll put down a little bit of water down the bottom, and then, yeah, we can just jump down into it, you know? Nice and easy, like. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you will see when you go into the entrance of the tower here. This bottom section here is actually going to be where the new comment of the day book storage area is. Now, considering we have 54 slides, lots in each of the chests that means we have a grand total of what 162 books worth of comment of the days to be stored in here so this thing is going to be used for a long time to come yet ladies and gentlemen believe me now one slightly more clever thing i thought of doing is going ahead and putting a whole bunch of trap doors where this drop shoot is going to be because at that point we will never ever be able to stray off course when freaking falling down and then we we won't just wind up, you know, plummeting to our death, right? So, yeah, probably a good idea to do such a thing, right? So, there we are. We would simply go ahead and just push ourselves up against the trapdoors. We open all of these going downwards. And then, of course, we will just wind up splashing into the water. At which point, we can safely get out. Dudes, there's a baby villager zombie. And I need to scramble to see if I can get him inside of a boat, ideally. All right, come on, Budski. Uh, I don't know if these guys burn up in the daylight. I gotta be honest, I can't actually remember. So I'll tell you what, why don't you try and get in here? Ha! Yes, yes, get in the boat. There you go. <laughs> One villager saved. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so to go ahead and shelter ourselves from the outside and our stupidity and, you know, just falling out of here, I guess, what we're going to do very, very simply is literally just board this entire wall up with cobblestone walls. I mean, if I can miscalculate how big this build was in the first place, then I'm sure that there will come a time where I will appreciate the added safety of this because let's be honest I'm pretty silly I probably would wind up falling out of the freaking side of the staircase so yeah me doing this taking preventative measures it's a good idea I just realized something guys this is supposed to be the bell tower right so where's the bell? Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and uh, check this out. There we are. You just fall down there. There's the little mini villager. And then we can just walk back up top. And it's pretty much entirely safe. I mean, even if I was to just fall down here halfway up, doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. It's about as safe as it can be. It is python proof. Ah, fantastic. We've actually got enough gold blocks to do this thing as well. Hey, I like it when I'm prepared for once, man. And in terms of accessing the attic area, I mean, to be honest, I really don't see any other solution than to just do this with the ladders. I mean, yeah, that's just about it, really. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, see about getting this bell added. Uh, we are going to have the top of the bell there, and then it will go down sort of either the side. All right, so we're going to have a couple gold blocks there. We'll go around a corner, have a couple more gold blocks, and go around a corner again. And there we have it. That should just about do it. All right, so here we are. We're just going to pop down the bottom, have a look at our new bell. And there we have it. Yeah, I mean, that's about all there is to it, really, in terms of making a bell. I mean, obviously, there is an actual bell item, but there's no way in heck you would ever be able to see it. So we're going for a slightly bigger one. If only this had some functionality. Oh, do you know what? Maybe I should put, like, an actual bell, like, hidden inside of it. Anyway, pretty much the only thing left to do now is to populate our utility room here with, well, utilities. And then that'll be us just about done. Wow. So here I am going ahead and picking out some flowers for my tower. Flowers for my tower. <laughs> I always knew I was the next great rapper. But, uh, yeah. Seeing this from a distance uh, really is kind of something, isn't it? Look at that. 
Look at the height of it, man. 64 blocks tall that thing is standing. Wow. I can't wait to get some more lighting put inside so this place basically glows at night. I think that'll look absolutely fantastic. What do you think, Mr. Spider? Well, he probably won't say anything now because he's slightly dead. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Oh, it would be so nice to light this thing up at night and just be able to see it from no matter what distance we are away from this place. It could be literally like our central beacon. Our ability to get back depends on us being able to see this tower. You want to know the best thing about having your bedroom be in a gigantic tower? You're never going to get distracted when you want to sleep. You're never going to get that pesky message come up saying that there's freaking monsters nearby. No! <laughs> Why? Why is there an adult villager? Oh, it was a second villager. Aw, oh, mate. If that freaking zombie wasn't in that boat, I probably could have had both of those villagers. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, aside from going ahead and populating the attic, this is actually entirely done, ladies and gents. And I'm very, very excited for that. So let's go ahead and check out our newly completed utility room. Dun, 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 dun. Here we are. We can go ahead and, you know, just close that. And then we've got a little bit more floor space. But check it out, guys. We've got just about every kind of utility block you can think of. We've got the loom. We've got the smithing table, grindstone. Uh, we've got various bits of storage, furnaces. Uh, we've got a little composter here just in case we need to compost some garbage, whatever it is. Uh, this is actually a cartographer table, but... Huh. I feel like maybe I should actually uh, maybe swap the uh, positions of these. Uh, ah, there we are. That looks a little bit better. Okay, and then that could face that way. Yeah. Guys, we're just about there. It is, in fact, done. <laughs> oh, I'm excited, ladies and gents. So, let's do the comment of the day. Martin Hart says, I'm really liking this new weekly schedule. It's regular, but doesn't burn you out. Please, can you go to the Season 2 North Pole Town for Christmas? Pretty please. I love that build. At least a quick visit. All right, all right. I tell you what, we've got two things to do. Number one, we're going to put this comment of the day book away back at Flora Valley, therefore completely filling up that building. And then, yeah, we'll have a little bit of a visit towards the Winter Village. Or as I think it was called, the North Pole Town, if I'm correct. I don't know. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, all the way back from season one. The first comment of the day storage building. The first chest goes up to episode 55. The second goes up to episode 109 the third one up to 163 and this one here ladies and gentlemen goes up to 220 every chest is full of comment of the day books. We do need to amend this a little bit though, don't we? Because we've had a few skipped episodes because of episode ones and whatever else it may be. There we are, all amended. It's quite a big moment really, isn't it? We've actually filled this darn thing. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and take the resources out of here because let's be honest, we're probably going to be spending a fair amount of time over at the season four area. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? I can't believe we've actually filled it. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. For any of you guys unfamiliar, this is the part of the nether tunnel network that leads to both the season two area of the world, the jungle campsite, and of course, the North Pole Winter Village. I was right. It was called that. So popping through... We'll go ahead and revisit the Winter Village. Because, I don't know if this is going to be the final episode before Christmas. There may be another one. There may not be. I don't know. I'm just kind of deciding to take it chill this December. So, if this is the final episode before Christmas, then, yeah, this is quite a fitting end towards it, isn't it? Obviously, not the end of the series. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Just because I say something's the end of something doesn't mean it's the end of the series, okay? So, there you go. <laughs> this series is still going strong, and it will continue to go strong strong as long as I'm still enjoying this game. So, here we are, the Winter Village. Oh, snappers. There's the Christmas tree, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dude, this is so strange to visit after all these years, man. Wow. But yeah, we do a little bit of a, a clockwise dealio here. We've got ourselves a rudimentary storage area here. There's still stuff here as well, dudes. Wow. Okay, maybe I'm going to have to pillage this place, see what I can find. Uh, we've got ourselves, yeah, a nice little, nice little barrel building. I thought that was really, really nice. This is sort of our main house. Is our doggy still here? Oh my god, it is. We never named it. Oh my god, the Christmas doggo. We should just call this guy freaking Rudolph, huh? 
Yeah, nice cozy living room complete with a fireplace. I mean, nowadays, of course, we have campfires, but back in the day, we did not. So that's the best we could do in terms of a fireplace. Oh, this is so strange, though. Enchanting area. We've got a book here with efficiency four. Wow, that's actually kind of nice. Loki, I'm going to take that. <laughs> Why not, man? Why not? It's there. I might as well use it. Uh, wow, more books. Wow. All right, and then, yeah, there's our, little, there's our little bedroom. And then, yeah, basically, as we go around, you guys are pretty much going to be able to spot whatever the heck each of these things are. This is supposed to be like a little church, complete with a bell. Uh, we've got ourselves a couple little polar bear pens, which is really awesome. Uh, a little bit of a farmland building as well. Look at that. We've got sheep and chickens. We've got cows and pigs. Oh, it's fantastic isn't it? I really was very, very fond of this area, I'll be honest. It just feels like a really cozy area. And it's one of the few areas in this entire world that's actually completely finished, you know? There's no other work that I want to be doing here, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's great. Look at this, a tiny little two-story building. That is so quaint. I love that, dude. Yeah, another little building there. I think one of the only things we didn't manage to get around here was actually villages. So I guess if we did want to work here, then that would probably be the only thing I want to do, get villages. But uh, aside from that, yeah. Most of this is pretty self-explanatory, really. Uh, there's a little bit of an uh, ore processing building here, I think. Yeah, got blast furnaces, uh, smokers, all sorts of stuff. But yeah, that's just about it for the Winter Village, ladies and gentlemen. So, a very fitting place to end potentially the final episode before Christmas 2021 here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys very much for watching. Truly, guys, I cannot thank you guys enough for all of the support you guys have shown my way through the course of this year. It's... Uh, it's, I'll be honest with you guys, it's been a bit of a rough mental one, as I imagine it's been for a lot of you folks out there as well. But I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much. I really do appreciate all of your continued support throughout this year, despite my serious inconsistencies with uploads uh, across all of my channels. So for all of you guys who have stuck by me, truly, thank you very much. That's just about the best Christmas present I could ask for. Truly it is. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and you're excited to see more, do be sure of course to drop a like if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos, my friendos. And happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you all. If this does wind up being the final episode before Christmas, I hope you guys have a lovely time. I hope you spend it with your loved ones, if you are able to, of course. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.